Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be a, a video about Google Calendars. There might be more than one, depending on what we get done here. Google Calendars is a offering by Google. It's free, and you can create calendars. In this case, um, I have some folks who want a community calendar, an events calendar to put up across a couple of sites. They were wondering how they could do that, and uh, you can do that using Google Calendars. So let's take a look and see how you find it and do it. First, you have to be logged into your Google account. So if you want to use Google Calendars, log in through your Gmail account. And if you don't have one, get one. And then have a Google account. Once you're in, uh, you go to google.com, you're going to come up to your, to your uh, nav bar up here, and you're going to click More, and you're going to find Calendar right here. So click on Calendar. It will take you into the calendar, Google Calendar homepage. Now the Google Calendar homepage uh, consists of a couple of areas. There's a left-hand sidebar, just like in WordPress, where you do all the functions that you need to do. And then the right-hand area here is your calendar area. And then over here, there, there, is, there are uh, selections up here on these nav bars here that you can pick whether you want to see days, weeks, months, four days, agenda. Uh, you know, I take the week and uh, you can uh, print and refresh and you can uh, pick different types of uh, themes that you want for it. But let's stick with the default. On the left-hand sidebar, you have a mini calendar. If you select that, it displays the, the calendar for the month at, uh, that you're in. And then below it are your My Calendars drop-down where it will display all the calendars you've created. Now, on the right-hand side of My Calendars, there's another drop-down. You click it. You can create a new calendar. You can create and go into Settings quickly on settings. Settings is where you manage your calendars. So you can come in here, delete them, uh, create a new calendar again here, do all sorts of stuff from this screen right here. Um, or you can, all right, let's, wrong one, right here, create a new calendar. So let's create a new calendar. Uh, we're going to call it affiliate Helps to spell. Hard to type when you have a, a band aid on your finger. Affiliate calendar of events. Okay, and then you know you can fill in the description. Uh, you want to pick your country, your time zone. Uh, if you want to share it with somebody, you can put your email address in there. If you want to share it with coworkers, there's ways of doing that. We'll talk about that in another video. Come back down here. You can create your calendar. So we're calling this Affiliate Calendar of Events. Create it. Now we're going back to our main, uh, there was a problem saving your settings. Please try again in a few minutes. And that's interesting. So we're going to come back into my calendars, and we're going to create a new calendar. And we're going to create Affiliate calendar. Oh man, it's right on the wrong finger. Cal affiliate calendar, so let's go into the description. You can be much more uh, thing about the description. You come down to your settings, uh, sending your event, you create the calendar. All right, so it's going to create the calendar. And you'll see now that in the left-hand sidebar, it's popped in. You've got create calendar. Now, the thing I want to show you is this. If you come here to this right-hand drop-down for the create calendar you just created and click it, you're going to get a bunch of options here, which we'll go over in another video, for setting the different colors and schemes. You can play with those. But if you click Calendar Settings, and now you're back into a similar box, you're going to come down to the Embed This Calendar. And right here is going to be the code that you're going to want to embed your calendar. So you do all your setups and your colors and all that. You, and then you em take this embed code and you bring it to your, let's get rid of this embed code. Bring it to a notepad and dr drop it in. And of course it didn't do that. So let's go back here and control C, bring it into your notepad. Control V, and now you have your embed code ready to go. Now I want to point something out. It has a, 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 a default width of 800 by uh, a default height of, of 600. So it's 800 by 600. That's going to be too big. You can customize that, and we'll see what we do that in a minute. So let's come to a website. I've got a website here. It's a WordPress 
blog and I'm going to come to my appearance. I'm going to go down to widgets, select widgets. It's going to display my widget screen. I'm going to come here and take a text, put it into my sidebar. I'll put it into this particular sidebar and then I'm going to come in here and do a control V and there is my embed code. I'm going to change this height or this width to 400 to 350 and I'm going to change my height to 400. So I'm going to make this a little bit different and I'm going to title, uh, I'm going to save it. Let's see, oh, and I want to title this uh, affiliate calendar. All right, so I'm going to save that. And then uh, I'm going to refresh here. Now this is the bottom widget. I should, well, you know what? Let's do something. Let's put it at the top, right up here. So I've just put the calendar uh, at the top here. And uh, we're going to refresh that. I just do an, take a look. And there's the calendar sitting here, right here. So you can see it's, you know, it's fitting in. It's got a couple of things here offsetting missing that I would adjust. That has more to do with the theme than it has to do with uh, your code. You can also, if you want, and I'll do this quickly, uh, put your calendar into a page. Uh, and again, this is going to be too, too wide, so I'm going to make it uh, 500 by 500. Let's make it a square. Let's see if it fits into this. And then you want to title it, you know, affiliate calendar. Save the draft. And let's preview the page. So you can put it into a page, and there it is in, you know, in a page. And then you can just put that page in a menu, etc. So there you go. So there, there, that's how you embed your calendar. Uh, into a, a page. Now, you know, when you want to add events to it, you want to, you come up here, you create an event. So let's say affiliate lunch. You know, whatever the name of the event is, uh, we're going to go 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, the thing you want to do is you're going to, you know, Joe's Restaurant You're going to want to come down to this drop down if you have several calendars and pick the right one. So I'm going to pick affiliate calendar and that's going to put this event, uh, I want to make sure it's a one hour event, uh, it goes at the 12th on the 5th, let's make it on the, come down here and make it on the 9th, let's say that's when it is. So you've picked your date, you've got the time, you've picked your place, you selected the calendar. Uh, you, the event color, you can assign a color to it. You can put reminders. There are other ca capabilities there, but for the purpose of time, I'm going to click save. So now I've created this lunch. Now this now is going to embed itself into this calendar. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little while to populate. It's not going to populate right away. But I would say, well, there it is. So there's the, it just went in. So. Uh, this calendar now, uh, this events of calendar is displaying this lunch. You can, and somebody can click on it. They can see what time it is, where it is, and you can have more details and fill in stuff as, if, as you need. Uh, when you create the event, there's a little box. You can add more information. But this, the point behind this was to show you how to find the embed code. So to get the embed code for a calendar, you go to the right-hand click here. You go to calendar settings, and then you come down to the embed, and this is the embed code for my other calendar. And I would pick this and uh, go and embed it in a different, and this would be a different calendar for a different site. And I, and, and I control what goes on those calendars from inside my Google Calendar account. And so that's it. That's how Google Calendars works. I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Colano Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.